Hi, I'm Ellen. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm going to be doing the Chloe Ting Hourglass Booty and Ab workout challenge. I've done one of Chloe Ting's workout challenges before. I did her flat belly challenge and I did make a video about that so if you want to watch it I will link it in the iCards. I decided to do this challenge late yesterday and so I actually have done the first day already which was hard. I didn't film yesterday because like I said it was already late so for one lighting would be bad and I also knew that if I decided to film I probably just wouldn't have done it yesterday and I just wanted to start. So we're on day two and I will be doing the three videos that are allotted for today. I currently am quarantining at my aunt and uncle's house and don't have access to a scale or tape measure that I know of so I won't necessarily have like before and after measurements. Spoiler alert, I did find a tape measure and we will have measurements. <laughs> I just wanted to document this and I also feel like filming it helps keep me accountable and uh, forces me to actually finish the challenge. So that is what I'm doing. I'll do a quick little before video just so that I will have some form of comparison um, for the end of the challenge and then we'll get into the workout. I do feel like I have some better body days than others, um, which I'm sure everyone does, but I do feel like today is one of my better body days, just as a note. I already went on a walk today and all of that, so I'm feeling pretty good. And I wanted to note that similar to the last Chloe Ting challenge I did, this is more about kind of challenging myself to complete a workout challenge and proving to myself that I can, as well as consistency rather than getting big results from the workout challenge. Um, I just want to, you know, treat my body better and I haven't been great about working out regularly since the last challenge. <laughs> so hopefully this gets my butt into gear again. Day two was very similar to day one, except for it added in the hip dip workout in between the other two workouts. I didn't film myself working out every day, but I tried to include a somewhat comprehensive look at some of the workouts that you do more often, as well as a little bit of comparison, kind of a before and after on my form and things like that for some of the same workouts. I definitely struggled with how best to show myself doing these workouts because I wanted to include as much as possible showing the moments, you know, where I paused or struggled and things like that. but. Then again, I can't have a video that's hours long. So hopefully these workout clips are okay. Anyways, a part of the great thing about the second day and about these challenges are that they reuse a lot of the same videos over and over. So even on the second day, I was already finding that I was remembering things from the previous day and was able to make fewer mistakes because of it. Some of these videos work where there's two exercises back to back with no break in between and I didn't necessarily realize that at first and it took me a while to kind of pick up that second move um, and it was also kind of a struggle sometimes figuring out which video didn't have breaks sometimes and which videos would always have a break. But it definitely did get easier to figure out later into the challenge for me. to do today. Another thing that I really love about doing these challenges is that I learn so many new exercise moves that I wouldn't otherwise know. Um, sometimes they're ones that I don't love as much, but other times I'll end up finding an exercise that I really like and is kind of out of the box, so I wouldn't have necessarily found it on my own. One more video to go. The issue with glasses is that they're always fogging up. <laughs> My hair is also coming out and obviously I'm sweating like a pig, so <sighs> it's working. <laughs> I think it's really interesting also that Chloe adds in some of her videos from previous workout challenges she's done into her new challenges. So this is the two week abs 
video, which was a part of a different program. And I think it goes to show that she really believes that her workouts are good and will continue to use them. Well, I finished all three videos for today. My glasses are fogging up again. Um, I guess I could just, we'll just be blind. Day two is very sweaty, kind of a lot, but it's good. I feel good and strong, which is nice. Tomorrow, day three, is an active rest day, and I was kind of surprised there was one so early in the challenge, but now it kind of makes sense because the first two days and like just the first days of a challenge are always the hardest because your body's not used to it. So I think I am going to enjoy my active rest day tomorrow. I'll probably still go on a walk, but it'll be nice to not sweat this profusely maybe. <laughs> if I find a tape measure or something, I will include some measurements. I like seeing my comparison from like beginning to end in terms of form and ability to push through it. So hopefully I'll be able to see that in the clips. But until I film again, see ya. <laughs> I'm gonna go take a shower. <laughs> I stopped by my apartment to do a couple things, which means I could grab my tape measure. So I'm gonna do some before measurements. I'm at a 32 around my waist. I guess I'll do my booty too, since this is an abs and butt one. I don't know how to measure this quite right, but. 38 and a half. Now it's time to do the day four videos. So for day four, there were three videos, the love handle workout, and this was the first day of doing that video, which is always interesting. Um, and then also the hip dips workout and the tiny waist round butt video. So I did all of those while I was at my apartment. I did not film them. Uh, this video is gonna be long enough anyways, so. <laughs> Just finished all the videos for day four. As you can see, I'm sweating as per usual. I will say that I think that this challenge feels a little bit easier to me than the other Chloe Ting challenge I did. I don't know if it's just because most days are closer to a half an hour and the other challenge some days you'd be doing like 50 minutes, but so far I'm feeling pretty good. And um, I obviously still sweat a lot, but I feel strong and good after, so that's all you can ask for. <laughs> I continued to follow the calendar that Chloe put on her website, and I will also have it linked in the description below. I am done with the first week. I feel like I am already seeing a little bit of a change in my body, and things are getting a little bit easier for me as well, which is great. I did do the optional workout that was for day seven, but yeah, I feel like I am seeing some progress, more so like in the morning when you first get up and you haven't put anything into your body. Also, these black leggings definitely do hide my uh, lower belly pooch a little bit better, but I feel like it's working and it's also been something really great to do during quarantine just to make sure that I have something to do every day that keeps me accountable for staying active. One week down and a couple more to go. Doing these workouts definitely became a part of my daily routine and helped keep me structured in a very unstructured time. Sorry if there's some background noise. The neighbors have a water feature, but it is day 23 of the Hourglass Challenge. And today there is 50 minutes of workouts, which is the most of the entire challenge. So I figured I would film my workouts today. About midway through this challenge, the weather started getting nicer and I was able to start doing my workouts outside, which was super nice. It was honestly really motivating to be in the fresh air. Sometimes you would get a nice little breeze to help cool you down. And I'm in Colorado, so I also had a really amazing view of the mountains, which are always beautiful and inspiring. Because I wanted to add more full workouts in this video, it is obviously longer and I understand not everybody wants to see all of that. So if you want to skip ahead to my results, they start around minute 15 in the video. 
These workouts did get a bit easier through the course of the challenge, more so just because I got more used to the moves and knew what I was doing a little bit more. I didn't have resistance bands, so I think that that would definitely have helped increase the intensity of the workouts as the challenge went on, but I was kind of at that same level just because I didn't have any bands. They're still really great workouts without the bands and definitely had me sweating. <laughs> Down, three to go. Now it's just to do that video workout one more time, and then I have one last workout for today. Whew. Definitely getting very sweaty. You can probably hear the birds are keeping me company. I think it's extra humid out today, so that's not really helping, but even though it's still hard and I'm sweating a lot, I feel like I've been able to get through all of the workouts and if I take breaks, it's more because like my wrists are sore or something like that, rather than me not being able to do the moves, which is really nice. <laughs> um, but yeah, <sighs> feeling good. <laughs> Day 24 had two workouts, the love handle workout and flat tummy abs workout. I only filmed the love handle workout just for the sake of time. We made it to the last day, woohoo! So on the last day of the challenge, there was two workouts that were 30 minutes total and it was the tiny waist round butt and then also 15 minute sexy legs and booty. It was a little bit cloudy, so sorry if the lighting kind of goes in and out. The last workout of the challenge was this 15 minute leg workout and it's actually from one of her other programs. And I found this one more than most really needed resistance bands for some of the moves. Most of the videos it was really okay that I wasn't using bands, but there was this one move where you squat a little bit and then basically just walk forwards and backwards and it felt pretty ridiculous without a resistance band and like I wasn't really doing anything. So generally without resistance band is fine, but I think there were some workouts that needed it a little bit more. Oh my god. 
it's really windy, but I just finished my last day of Chloe Ting workouts for the Hourglass Challenge. Look at how fast the wind is going. I'm excited that I'm done with the challenge, but now I have to figure out what I'm gonna do next, so we will see. I didn't get to my workouts until a little bit later in the day today, so I'm going to do my after measurements tomorrow morning so that hopefully um, any bloating or anything is not a part of my measurements, but yeah. Here is the final before and after. I think that I look a lot more toned now and I'm really happy with the progress I was able to make in these 25 days. Well, it's day 26 of the challenge or the day after I finished all of the workouts and I wanted to do a little bit of a reflection. So I feel like this challenge has been really great and I did see some results. So I had about one inch come off of my waist and then my butt didn't change at all. But that is pretty big for me, honestly, to do in 25 days to get a whole inch off of my waist. I think you can definitely see that hourglass shape more. You know, usually I'm more of a rectangle, but you can a little bit see it my body cut in at the waist and then go back out, which, you know, is cute. We love that. But I think the biggest thing this challenge did was give me structure during my stay at home uh, period for workouts. Like I didn't have to put any thought into what I was going to do because Chloe already put thought into that for me. And it was really nice to be able to have that as a part of my daily routine and to have a way to keep my body active without having to think too hard about it because I'm not like a fitness guru or anything. I feel like it's hard for me to know what types of workouts to do sometimes and it can be really overwhelming figuring out what to do. So that's a big part of why I really like these challenges. But another thing that I've definitely noticed from this challenge is that it's so easy to kind of see your body in different ways. So for me, I've been looking at my body in the mirror a lot more recently, which might sound a little bit conceited, but I think it's been really helpful to see myself in the mirror and honestly in multiple different mirrors because sometimes I feel like I don't actually know what my body looks like and I'll convince myself that I'm bigger than I am or I don't know, just different things like that. And so actually seeing my body and watching it go through this transformation, you know, waking up in the morning and seeing, oh, there's a little bit of definition, like I'm feeling good, I think is really positive and has been really great throughout this time period. No, it's not all about looking a certain way, but I feel like it also ties into that health thing of, you know, like my body feels stronger, I look stronger, and it does kind of translate into being a little bit happier with myself because I'm treating my body right. So I don't think that like these challenges are for everybody, but I would definitely encourage you to find some workout videos that do work for you and maybe give this challenge a try if you're looking for something to do during quarantine. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing me go through this journey and I will see you in the next video. Bye!